Welcome to It Is What It Is, a true crime podcast. I'm your host, Sean Marie, and um, we're going to talk about the Doomsday, the Missing Children, the ID special that they did on Tylee and JJ. And so it's not going to be a long episode, obviously, because we've already gone through all of this. And they went through everything that we already know, but we did learn a couple of new things. And so, I don't know. I was going to record this yesterday, but life hit me like a ton of bricks and I just couldn't get to it. So, first off, I just want to say, and I will not change my opinion on this. So many people failed these children before they passed and were murdered. They were failed. Not only did more than a handful of people know that this bitch was losing her mind, they did nothing. The only people to ever even do anything or feel the need to do anything or anything like that were the grandparents from the very beginning. They are the only people that did the right thing. And they were the last people to know. Do you know how irritating that must be and is? You're the last people to truly find out that she has lost her fucking mind. Like, you knew she was kind of batty, right? You were like, mm, my brother's fucking old lady. She's, she's a trip. But to know she's checked out, you're the last ones to know. And that all these people knew And they just sat there and gossiped or were a part of the craziness themselves, Melanie. I mean, you know, like, I I feel so bad. Even when Larry says in the episode, well, it's sad, but to me, it's kind of funny too, only because I'm from here. But he was like, before she moved there, we didn't even know where Rexburg, Idaho was or what it was. And it's like, and the one lady's like, it's a small town where everybody knows your name. It's a college town, really. I don't know if they all know each other's names. I mean, I guess it is a small town, but it's definitely not like homey, weirdo, like they made it out to be on the ID special. Just my opinion. But anywho, and so they have no idea. Other people are telling them. Like, I don't even know. And then, like, again, no disrespect, but the Arizona police. You have this guy standing in front of you being like, I love this broad. She's just lost it. And everything else. And nothing. And then you go to his murder scene and you're like, oh yeah, hmm. He did mention this was going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, who mentioned it? The dead guy on the floor. Like, oh my God. I don't even know. Like, and then to have a film crew. And I understand it's the show, it's whatever. But to know that you're going to be giving, well, you don't even know. You don't even know what outcome you're going to be facing when you're like, yeah, go ahead, film it. Sure. This will either be a very precious video where we record all this crazy nonsense and then we get some kids out of a bunker and everybody happy or tragically it goes the way it went. So to even sign off on being filmed is insane to me it is but it isn't and then i don't god 
like I don't even okay so they broke it up into three hours because three different episodes and the first episode is like the beginning obviously where it's like this is how Lori got JJ and the rundown of all of her marriages which by the way I love her brother's wife the only brother remaining I think anyway the one on the show you straight know that she fucking hates her she's like "Mm mm-hmm trash running through all those men she didn't call her trash I did anyway so which by the way the way that they got JJ is these two people Larry and Kay got the kid got him not the kid him and I mean it was rough on them so then the brother steps forward and he's like dude we'll take him we got hooligans of our own we got children's and I call all children's hooligans it's not like I'm saying they had bad children's they're all hooligans anywho and so we'll take him you know and they were like oh you know what that's awesome you know how much trust and respect Larry and Kay must have had for Lori well and I mean and her brother obviously but you gotta trust her too I mean you can't just be like here you go brother here Charles here's my child because they that was their child adopted or not their child like god and then that's what she does and then she wants to tell everybody well whoever she did tell amongst all the people that she told different stories to that he's with his grandma mm, horrible absolutely horrible and then another thing we learn is like obviously they were filming it from their side Larry and Kay's side so like oh my god and then you get the you get to watch them get the phone call that it was like JJ's past and like he's been found and I still it's been like three days two days I still hear Kay's crying in my head like that was like the most devastating heartbreaking thing I've ever heard and then you find out how hard it was on Larry and like that Melanie's fucking ex-husband had to go I like he didn't have to he volunteered 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 that's a weird word 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 just to go and like identify JJ so that they didn't have to do that and oh my gosh <clears throat> insane but literally I can't get over the fact that so many people like and I don't know what I expect I don't know if I expect like somebody to be like oh give me your kids because you lost your mind that's kind of what I expect but I I don't know I don't know it's so sad and now recent days right so we know what happens obviously they murder the children I'm gonna say I think I've said this before but I really do believe that dipshit and Alex killed Tylee and that Alex killed JJ and then dipshit and her helped the disposal of the bodies I think she well she obviously knew there's no way and I dare her ooh I dare her to be like I didn't know what they did I I dare a bitch you know what I mean I dare a bitch I'll pay somebody some honey buns I don't know how hard it is to go to jail in Rexburg but it can't be that hard you know what I'm saying they're very religious (laughs) but anywho like 
I don't even know. And, like, I love Larry on the show, too, because he's like, I want that motherfucker, I'm going to assume he said motherfucker, like, to look me in the eyeball, which he's a punk ass and he didn't. And I don't like calling men punks because it's not nice and it's just not. But he's a punk ass. I don't even know. Ugh. And then you got the crazy chick that like he um, published her books. And she's like, mm, I've always had the quote unquote veil. I can always see through the veil. <clears throat> mm mm mm. I keep clearing my throat because I feel like I have something in it, but I don't. So, sorry if that's annoying to you. Anyway. And then, I hope all you people that went out and bought all that toilet paper felt stupid. One of the things that sh they said you needed to do was stock up on supplies. And the first thing they list off was toilet paper. And y'all went and did it for the COVID. Mm. Dumb. And, like, Larry goes into the empty condo and, like, walks through it. And, like, he says he feels like, and this dude, I swear to God, Larry's entombed with his third eye. Like, his, his inner being. He knew. <clears throat> he knew right away that something was fishy. I don't know. The whole thing is so sad. And like this show just is so sad too. And then why they put out stuff right before the holidays like this blows my mind. Like you can't pick a random freaking Tuesday to air this. You really can't. You're like right before Christmas. Bam. Right after Thanksgiving or right before Thanksgiving, Jessica Chambers, her, her special was done. Like... Cool, bro, for the families of these poor victims, like, oh my god. <sighs> I don't even, I just, I'm so irritated that nobody, nobody even, like, no more, no people more than Charles reported these people to the cops before it happened. Okay, and you have a nephew who's living there who when Charles and JJ go out of town, there's like 30 cars deep outside. They're having some cold ass meeting in the fucking living room. And he's just like, mm, that was shady and creepy. I'm going to go to sleep and eh, keep it to myself. Hell no. Maybe I'm just, well, I know I'm a loud mouth. Maybe that's my problem. Cause I would have went and told everybody. I went that I would have went to my room and called my friends and been like, mm -hmm. "Y'all, some shady shit's happening in my place. We having some cultish meetings." So yeah, I don't know. I really hope these motherfuckers fry. But recently, I was gonna tell you guys this. Recently, like on Friday, there's supposed to be another hearing because they're trying to say that. Um, Mr. Wood for the state was bad and was a meanie and bullied her psycho sister, Summer. I'm sorry, but so far, the only person in that family that I'm even like, mm, okay, you got some brains is, is the brother they had on the special. He is the only one. Like the whole family knew this bitch was baddie. She's shipping out 30 days worth of food and stuff like that to her family members. For one, that costs a fortune. And for two, nuts. The end of times is coming. I'm going to mail you some food. Hmm. I don't know. I really hope these people fry what, they, what they've done to these, to Larry and Kay is just... Mm. And it's so horrible. And to kill children? Never in my hometown did I ever think that this would happen. Like, never. Home state. Ugh. I don't even know. It's so horrible. It's poor babies. If you haven't gone and watched it, go watch it. I mean, it's very, it's very interesting and very well done. 
And it's very eye-opening to see it from Larry and Kay's side. But it's so just like mind-blowing. And how nobody in his family, and we're talking about Chad. I don't like to say his name because he's just so caca. But none of his children, nobody or nothing is going to go on these shows or do it, like stand up for any, but like, you know what I mean? Try to stand up for their POS. <sighs> Who knows? I really want to know what those fuckers think. And I mean, I know saying the F word's probably not nice, but they're so weird to me and that's not nice to say either but it's honest it's weird and then you guys moved into his house and like at first I was like they couldn't have known about her right because like mom just died and then in court and everything else we find out that no they did they've met her and then I was like right then and there I was like mm, shady Shady. If your mama drops dead and then you like the new wife that you, he just gets two weeks later, shady. Something's wrong with you. Something. I don't even know. So sad. I really hope that something else happens with these people, though. And. I'm sorry, but Mr. Wood is just amazing. And they're like, well, we have secret recordings of him being meanie. So they haven't said yet if they're going to let the next court thing about this be open to the public. The last one was not. We don't know yet. Hopefully they do because I like watching Mr. Wood. He's very talented. I don't know. This whole thing, no one, everybody was like, oh, it can't get crazier. Just keep in mind, y'all, we haven't even gotten any in-depth stuff on what they got on Lori, really. Because she was, got, she got scared. Chad did his, and then she got scared. And she's like, mm-mm, I ain't gonna do it. Let's just go at trial. So we don't even know the crazy psychotic stuff they have on her. Mm. I don't know. I really hope between now and then, though, that Lori wakes up and is like, I'm obviously psychotic. Yeah, yeah. And is like Chad's obviously full of poo poo and caca and so I need to do what's right and be a decent human being and say what happened to my children and spill her little guts or even Chad wake up and be like well I have gone without her psychotic vajaj in the sexual relations for quite some time and so it no longer controls me. And so maybe I should say everything I know. And it's also weird that they say that Alex, Alex's brother, well, her brother too, says that Alex never had blood clots. Only him and his father did. So obviously, yes, it was in the family. But the fact that he wasn't known to get them all the time, shocking. And then that's what he dies from. Mm, everybody put a mustache up to your face right now. Shady. Like the shadiness that happened. And literally between like him losing it and falling deeper. Her losing it and falling deeper. And just nobody around tells anybody important they just gossip amongst each other crazy psycho Lori at it again oh good old Chad just having 
dreams about zombies and then people are dropping dead. People who she calls zombies die and then she tells us my children are zombies and we're just going to be like, ah, but she wouldn't kill the kids. What does your conscience tell you now? Mm-hmm. Hopefully you feel bad. And hopefully you move on from it and get seek help because I really do think it should traumatize you. <sighs> Goodness. I really do. It, it angers me for Larry and Kay if it doesn't anger them. And maybe because they are so nice and sweet and adorable, maybe it doesn't anger them. I'm angry for them that so many people knew and didn't say anything. And the fact that Melanie is going to just walk away from this with a quote unquote bad experience blows my fucking mind. You're reliable for something, girl. I don't know what they should charge you with, but you need to be charged with something. Ugh. Yeah. So I'll update it and let you guys know what happens. But I really hope Mr. Wood don't get taken off. And like, really, what do they think that's going to do? Like, do these lawyers really think that, oh, if we just get a new prosecutor, then we'll have a better chance at winning? No. And if you thought that you couldn't get a fair trial in the state of Idaho before... The show did not help you none. You ain't going to be able to get a fair trial on Mars. You did it. We all know you did. Find me five people in the state of Idaho that don't think you did anything malicious. And I'll show you five people who are probably a part of your fucking cult. Mm-hmm. And then they want to say that Rexburg's like the safe zone. Shut up. Shut it down. Y'all ever been to Rexburg? Ugh. Another hill. And another hill. Dumb. I don't know. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. A uh, side note, if anybody out there has the profession of painting, being a painter, a home painter, you guys, I have the most newfound respect for y'all. House painting is stupid. I don't like it. I'm not done with it. I want to be done with it. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's insane. Buying a home. So fun. Yay. Can't wait for the fun part to start happening. <laughs> That would be cool. Ugh. Goodness. You guys have a great week. I love every one of you. And we will, of course, have a Christmas murder, which is sad. But we'll have one. I'm going to try to find, like, a super, super, super old one. So that, yes, it's sad, but it's really just like, oh, did you know? Type of stuff. Not really, like, present day. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see what we can find. Anyway, love you. Have a great week. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.